My name is Jake and this is Tandem Cross. We're looking at the Tandem Cross Freedom Rail and the question is why did Tandem Cross make an optic rail when Caltech makes uh, an optic rail as well? Well, the first reason is because the Caltech optic rail is designed for very specific red dots. Uh, so you have to have a, an expensive red dot in order to use the optic rail. The other reason is most of the reflex sites have Picatinny. So we used a Picatinny design so that you can take advantage of the quick release and you can transfer the red dot from one gun to the other. With the Keltec design, you have to use your Allen wrench and take the optic off and then put your Picatinny back on and then move it to another gun. So using Picatinny makes a lot of sense. And then the last reason, the optic rail from Tandem Cross is a lot lighter than the optic rail from Keltec. And we know that the PMR is sensitive to weight, and so having a, a lighter optic rail allows us a wider variety of uh, reflex sights. The Tandem Cross rail will come with uh, an Allen key, so you don't have to hunt around and find the right size. And it also will come with uh, four screws that are pre-patched so that they will prevent the screws from backing out uh, as the gun cycles. So you don't have to go and find any Loctite. To install the Tandem Cross Freedom Rail, the first thing that you're going to do and the first thing you should do before you handle any firearm is make sure that the gun is clear and that there's no ammo uh, around your workspace. You want to make sure that you always uh, are safe when you're handling your firearm. You're going to remove the screws from the top of the slide. I've already removed three of them. I'm going to remove the last one. And you want to set these aside so that you have them in case you want to reinstall uh, these screws and take the rail off at some point. Next, you want to align the rear of the rail with the angle in the sight and uh, start installing the screws. Once you have all the screws inserted, make sure that they are just snug. Over tightening these screws can cause binding in the slide, so you want to make sure that they are just snug and not overly tight. Binding of the slide can cause uh, failure to feeds, so you want to be sure that you don't over tighten these. Once you have your rail tightened down, follow your manufacturer's instructions for installing your optic. The key being you want to make sure that it is tight and that it's not going to come flying off. And there you have it. The Tandem Cross Freedom Rail allows you to mount virtually any micro red dot to your PMR. It allows you to use a Picatinny style base so you can move the optic from gun to gun and it's a lot lighter so that you're going to be able to mount uh, a wider variety of red dots. My name is Jake and this is Tandem Cross.